Hi again, I'm John Nielsen with Wing Chun Hall, and this is the uh, discussion section of what we just set up as the complete components of Wing Chun. So, in other words, I just published a, vi a video, um, I called it Wing Chun Origins Part 4, this is Part 4.1, we're discussing th that one. So if you haven't seen it, please go back and take a look at it, and it would also help if you've seen all the other videos in the series, so that you can be up with us at this part of the discussion. So now that we've put all the components of Wing Chun together, and I'm going to list them. So there, Wing Chun has uh, boxing, wrestling, kicking, and then it, it works with uh, uh, blunt weapons and edged weapons and ballistic weapons. Okay, and then in addition to that, you've got um, you've got medical knowledge behind it too, and then there is some meditation and spiritual. Um, uh, pursuits in Wing Chun. Okay, so Wing Chun is let's, is body, mind, and spirit. It's the whole thing put together, and what's gonna we're gonna define it now. Okay, so here's my definition of Wing Chun. Okay, it is Lung Jan's modern scientific approach to comprehensive self-defense. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say that once you define who is the one who put it together and when it happened you can then look at it and say well what is it supposed to be and and what can we call it okay so I'm gonna say it one more time Lung Jan's modern scientific approach to comprehensive self-defense okay so I want to break that down just a little bit and say modern okay well Lung Jan first because we know that he's the one who actually put the system together okay and actually there's not much dispute with that Okay, there are people who will try to trace it back to somebody before Lung Jan, but before Lung Jan, the, it, it wasn't really systematized. He did that. Okay, so then let's talk about modern. Okay, uh, Lung Jan was putting the system together during the late 20th or 19th century. Okay, and he died just maybe in the early 20th century, but um, late 19th century is when he was putting the system together. Okay, well. I've been kind of laying some of these things out in the videos as we're going through and showing that Lung Jan was, was present when most of, mo of the modern innovations of our time took place. So, in other words, um, the railroad, the automobile, the radio, the telephone, the television, um, the airplane, the rocket, the, the computer, the internet, all of those happened in about a hundred year period from about the mid 19th century to the mid 20th century. And we're now in the 21st century, but we haven't really made any innovations during that time. What we've done is we've made improvements on the inventions, the innovations that happened during that period that I was talking about, during Lung Jan's period and a little bit behind him. But, um, or since him I should say, but basically the modern era happened during Lung Jan's time. Okay. So, medicine, firearms, warfare, everything changed during that period of time. And since that period of time, what we've done is we have, have no, found out more about that and we've made some improvements, some tweaks here and there, but we haven't really made anything new since about, since the mid-1900s, basically. Okay, so it's modern. Scientific. Why is it scientific? Because Lung Jan was a doctor and he wasn't what you would call like a traditional ancient um, Chinese doctor um, who was studying things like like um, qi flow and those kinds of things. Now, I'm not saying that that wasn't in included in there, but I am saying that he had modern medical training. And I kind of pointed that out because uh, I showed that, uh, I don't remember the book that I referenced, but there's a book in there that says that um, the Qing banned what we so-called traditional Chinese medicine during the 19th century when Lung Jian was practicing and training um, and so he was doing like I say the herbalism and the bone setting which we consider modern medicine um, again modern medicine changed during that period too uh, bone setting has become other things now and um, herbalism has become other things now but they all came from that period uh, um, so that was like I say when all those things were going on and he was doing modern uh, scientific medicine okay during that period now um, I said it's his approach to his modern scientific approach to comprehensive self-defense 
Okay, now, when you talk about self-defense, a lot of times people get people stop when they think about violent physical attacks from other human beings or maybe other creatures. But um, self-defense includes much more than that. It includes that and more. Okay, so it, it also includes attacks to your health and your longevity. So if, if you, determine, if you um, define yourself as body, mind, and spirit, okay, which during that period of time everybody was, I mean, you know, you look at Emerson, uh, look at uh, Thoreau, look at like all of the other uh, people who were writing about that body, mind, and spirit were the three things that everybody was talking about. Then it's an attack to any one of those things that would constitute a need for self-defense. Okay. Um, so anything that threatens the, the quality or the length of your health in any one of those areas would be an attack to your self-defense, to yourself, and therefore it would, be, it would require self-defense. So Wing Chun includes all things that defend you from those kinds of attacks, including medical training, as we said. Okay. So we should really expand our minds when it comes to this kind of thing. We should expand our minds in terms of like what we should in include and involve in our discussion and in our practice of, of Wing Chun. All right, so that's my take on it. That's my definition. That's uh, after looking at all the different things that I've looked at, that's how, that's how I define it and that's how I practice it. So have I left anything out? Um, would you have included anything else? Would you tweak my definition at all? Again, Lung Jian's modern scientific approach to comprehensive self-defense. Is there anything else than that? Okay, and if so, let me know in the comments. Uh, if you'd include anything else other than the things that I um, that I included in my discussion, what would they be? Um, go ahead and put that down in the comments below. I really appreciate your your um, subscription, your viewership, and if you would please just like, comment, subscribe, and support. I'd appreciate that. Thanks.